Trump's on like long form podcast. Your Where's weave it? is getting wide. We're no, getting no. wide with My this weave. I like to give long the weave. Popping up every day. He's like on something else and he's just sitting there talking like a normal person. Yeah. And I, that's a strategy. And it was J, it's RFK's strategy. He talked about it like on Rogan. Yeah. He's like, this is like, they said Twitter changed like the 2016 election because you can have like real access to whatever. Yeah. But like podcast is going to start changing them because they're you're not sitting on a scripted television show for five minutes. Yeah. You're sitting there for an hour. Yeah. And you got to talk. You got to be a real person. Yeah. Bernie Sanders, I think, was the first politician. Not maybe not the first politician. Cause what's that chick's name that was Democratic and then now she's supporting him? Tulsi. She was on Rogan, I think, a couple of times. She was, yeah. So I don't know if Bernie Sanders was first, but you ever watch a Bernie Sanders on Rogan? I watch a good bit of it, yeah. Dude, he's just sitting there staring. He can't even look him in the eye. He's just sitting there staring, like, well, you know, uh, you know, universal income and you know taxes and the rich and they have more money and we have none. And you know, I will say this: I'm not a big fan of Bernie's. Demeanor, just his platform is what he's. But I'll give the dude credit; he's about 180. <laughs> he is probably one of the only politicians that the same shit he's saying now. He was saying in like the six. His platform has not changed, and it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not, but like he's not saying that because I disagree with him politically. But the the the. The way it is between the two party system. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's, he's just the old guy that's been there for a while and keeps supporting the Democrat, whoever he is. Just, yeah, he's just. Did been, you see uh, him on Theo Vaughn? Bernie? Yeah. Uh uh-uh. He was just on after Trump. Oh, no, I did see some highlights of that. And he was there like, what about Kamala? He goes, well, I mean, she is the person running, so, you know, I don't know, not Trump. <laughs> he's he, like, I disagree with her on everything, but. Well, the, the comments are like, she is the person, so you support her. It's almost as bad as all the people in the interview. Why should she be a president? Because she's a woman. It's like, that's not a reason politically to be in control of a country. But I digress. Yeah. But, um. Hey, he stood, he stood on his platform. I. <laughs> he hadn't changed. He hadn't, his sail doesn't blow in the wind. He. I have, I'm a, I'm a kind of a gullible person in some aspect. I, I'll pick apart stuff, but like. If I sit and listen to somebody talk for a while, I can see their perspective yeah. and I can agree with them, no matter who it is. You understand where they're coming from, I, if, it, if it's authentic. When Biden was on like uh, Jimmy Fallon a while ago, like years ago, when yeah. I think Barack was he, back in the day, and he talked, I was like, I can kind of, even though I know he's, Dude, all the before, politicians are full of shit. Before Biden like kind of lost his cognitive ability, like his, his like vice president debates... Yeah. He was good. He was a career politician. He was damn good at it. So the I think- we were talking about the Clintons. Like they are talented at doing that. I can probably find places that I can agree with almost anybody. Yeah. If I hear what they're coming from and what they're saying, and that's the gullible thing that I'm saying. But at the same time, all of them are career liars. Yeah. So they're, a lot of them are lawyers. And lawyer is finding a way to manipulate the narrative- Based upon the rule book of the law. Yeah. So the better the lawyer, the better they understand the rule book. And if you understand all of it, you can get out of any of it. Yeah. Because the way it's written, there's it's it's like a it's like a manipulation art piece. It's like a it's like a what do you call it? Masterpiece. Because like if you know how to spin the narrative and find how to oh, if they bring in these evidence, I can um, disqualify that evidence and you know, if you, you can spin, if you can spin the narrative, you can control the narrative. You can control everything. So all of the politicians are like that. Yeah. So it's like, how do you believe any of them? You can't. But they're so good. If you listen to them for long, that's why the long form podcast is a big deal. Yeah. Because if they sit there for a long time and still win it, and they're not being scripted, they're not reading a fucking teleprompter, and they're not being put on the network that's supporting them, and then they edit it, and make it look perfect, and then it still looks like shit. Yeah. And you can sit there just unedited with some fucking comedian and talk. He was on, uh, what's that guy um, that uh, Tim Dillon was dating? Lex Friedman. Uh, Trump was on his podcast. Yeah, I saw that. He was on Tucker Carlson's. Yeah. He was on that uh, guy, that does, the Navy SEAL guy that has that cool set. Yeah. With the lights on the ground. Yep. Um, uh, JFK said, he, or RFK said he does like seven or eight a day. Anyways, point of the matter is, it's all a game. And it's all power. Hollywood, 
government. It's just money control. It's just humans. Think about everything like high school. It's just people who like focus on that thing. Yeah. The reality is I think most people have good intentions and then eventually you just get kind of your conscious gets a little seared and then you start doing some fucking stupid shit. Yeah. And you get old and then you got to pay your bills and then now you're 50 and you can't change your career, but you got to make, you got to support this. Everybody's humans. I think yeah. Peterson talks about like people judge Hitler or whatever, but it's like if you were in his shoes and you have the same things, you have the you have the evil within you too to possibly become that person too. You know, it's like it's all circumstance, it's all human nature, and I think that's why the main thing, like we talked about a long time ago, is the only thing that matters is love. If we could figure that out, it'd be a better place. But it is a better place than it's ever been. Thank you.